wrist chip wholeheartedly does do something. What we're going to be doing today is putting this race chip, which is a plug-in diesel tuning box, through its paces on a dyno to figure out once and for all whether these tuning boxes do what they say on the tin and give you the gains that they claim they do. Basically, these are an easy, user-friendly DIY remap, an external tuning box that plug into a couple of connectors in your engine bay and they are supposed to increase performance. Now, there is various different brands on the market. This one specifically is race chip, as you can see. Now, this is my own vehicle. It is a Mercedes C-Class W205 2.1 diesel. It is running 170 horsepower as standard with 400 newton meters of torque. So what you're gonna see in the graphic next to me is the gains that this actually does claim that you will get um, by plugging in one of these tuning boxes. So as you can see, we are talking an increase up to 218 brake horsepower and an extra 100 newton meters worth of torque. Now, that's quite a claim from a plug-in tuning box that costs a few hundred pounds. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put my hand in my pocket, I'm not going to use any stupid apps or timers or anything like that or not to 60 times which of course are an absolute variable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the dyno. I'm going to do a run with the race chip turned off because of course on this model, the race chip ultimate, we do have Bluetooth control and then we are very simply going to turn the race chip on into high setting and see if it gives us the performance that race chip claim it does. Right guys, just before we go in, I'd just like to mention as well, because uh, it's quite important. So even though my car's got quite a lot of visual mods, it's got absolutely no performance mods whatsoever. Um, so standard airbox, obviously it is a diesel car, standard airbox, standard exhaust, um, nothing that should interfere with the power that this car will actually put out from factory. Um, so hopefully we're going to get a really, really good benchmark test. I'm not asking the race chip to do any supporting mods. Um, like I said, I've not altered anything. It's literally a base car, base engine, base performance, and then we're going to turn the race chip on and see just how much that does give you as a brake horsepower and top gain. Right guys, so this is the run we're doing. So as you can see, race chip is disabled. Um, so this is the run that we're going to be doing right now, um, which is going to be our baseline run. So basically, that's just run uh, 187 horsepower. Um, so the race chip is turned off and the car's in fourth gear. So whatever reason, we've got quite high figures, but it is what it is. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to switch that and put the race chip on, and then obviously we're going to do the run again. Right, so now we're going to open up our race chip app. Search for Bluetooth connection, as you can see. Now we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn the warm-up timer off. Oh, skip timer because we don't need it on. So we're going to perform this run again now. the findings now I'm gonna go through this properly and um, when I get back home as you can see the car is still on the dyno all right um, there is a difference um, the race chip wholeheartedly does do something um, but keep watching because I'm gonna go through this in further detail shortly and then we'll talk about the results fully so before we discuss the results, let's talk about the initial findings. Stock run gave us 186.8 horsepower with 459.5 newton meters of torque. 
These are higher than the quoted figures from Mercedes for this model of 170 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. However, after further investigation, the BHP is in line with other results reported by owners of this particular model. The torque reading is higher and is a reported characteristic of this particular dyno as reported by the dyno technician. However, because we are doing back to back testing, the measured gains, if any, will still be accurate. So let's look at the results. The before BHP as stated is 186.8 BHP and with the race ship turned on we achieved 194.1 BHP. So that's a difference of plus 7.3. Not great but still a small gain. So let's look at torque. The torque before was 459.5 Newton meters, and after turning on the race chip, the torque jumped to 510.5 Newton meters, giving a torque increase of 51. Aww. So, in conclusion, if we look at the dyno graph, the race chip did make a difference, but certainly not at the advertised gains promised. One thing to note is that you can initially see that the race chip does deliver better performance, and the increased lower end torque will ensure that, according to your bum dyno, anyway you will feel a difference however beyond that point the gains do actually lean out and come close to the stock run according to the dyno sheet so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below please make sure to subscribe if you're completely awesome this is zero yon and thank you for watching